Okay. okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Okay, we are officially live. Can you see? Can I uh, see? Yeah. Can you see any? Um, I can ahead. see. I, I put it on the comments. Nobody's commented yet, but hopefully yeah. once they do. We'll hopefully get some okay. takers, but otherwise, if it's just you and me, honey, yeah. I have lots to share with okay. you. <laughs> I am totally okay with that. I can talk about these all day long. Oh, for any, oh, we have some people. Okay, so for anybody who is watching, um, I think you might find this a little humorous and not surprised at all, but um, this is our perfumes for life. Yeah, hey, Deb. And we, um, of course, Mandy knew immediately hers. And then all day long, hi, Liz. I have literally been like mm, asking her back. And forth. <laughs> so, like, do I like this? Do I love this? I, well, I was laughing because I kept on, I think I really overthought this. So I was sort of like, if I was going to have a fire in my house and I had to run out, what am I going to grab? Um, and there's some other categories. So anyways, I think we're going to have a little bit of fun just playing around and talking about these. Like, these are all things love that you, like when you said you could just bathe in all of them, mm -hmm. then I was, you know what? I could. Yeah. Okay. I could yeah. unscrew the tops and literally just pour them over. Nobody would want to get around me, but I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I am very like, I'm a very decisive person. Like, that's and, and when I make a decision, that's it. Like there's no going back. So I knew from the get go what mine were going to be, but the way I, the way I chose them. Yes. Days, if I lost my entire collection, what would I miss the most and want to repurchase first? Yeah. And then also I have top, I have five favorite notes and they really have not changed yeah. Ever, I don't think like, I feel like that's really stayed the course for me. Yeah. And like, okay. What are some of my favorite perfumes with those notes in them? And it coincided with the ones that I would want to buy first. So yeah. that's why it was easy for me. But also I think my collection is probably like a 10th of yours. So, so I didn't have as many to choose from. <laughs> so that's what I I don't know about that, but I do. I This is getting ridiculous. And I've literally been, um, I have actually been getting rid of decluttering, mm -hmm. which has been huge for me. And so, so proud of you. These, these are ones that like totally made the cut. I would never sell them. Like I, you know, so that's been kind of exciting. And then, and then I laugh because I think it needs to be like our top 20. Because I was like, but I know that that? you texted me <laughs> like, I need this to be 20. And I'm like, that would be a very long life. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I, and then you guys, we love to hear from you guys. Too. Yes. So I'm glad, Matthew, I love Portrait of a Lady. And that one is like, I also was like that one. If I put that on, that's like a um, compliment getter. I got the, I got the hair mist of that. And like, oh yeah. That, oh, I like, want the must ravager hair list. If you like tra that trails around. Um, like literally people are going to follow you and say, what are you wearing? <laughs> hey, I love that. Oh, hey, Stephanie. Hey, Madeline. Oh, okay. okay. You want to go first? No, you're going first. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, and I'll also say, <clears throat> with the exception of a couple of them, I've probably already talked about them in lives before because that's how much I love them. They have fallen into a different category. Um, I will start with. I don't know. All right. I think I don't, I don't think this one has been in a life. I don't think this is from fragrance to Bois. You have this. Yeah. Go ahead and grab it. Okay. I have, I have a couple from fragrance to Bois, and this is one of my least favorite notes. And this is the whole, this defines the never say never thing is yeah. rose. It typically does not work for me, but this one works for me and it's New York fifth Avenue. We both, this is, a, this is a dual, like, oh. It is so good. I, when I wear this, it is typically something that I will wear for like three or four days in a row, which yeah. is not normal for me because I like to change it up like every day, but mm -hmm. I just get so hooked on it that I just want to keep wearing it and keep wearing it and keep wearing it. And it is, again, one of the few rose 
fragrances that I like. And when I smell this, I smell Christmas. That I was gonna say, this is not like your typical rose. Though. It's like, not. It's in there. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but I also wouldn't say it's like a jammy rose either. No. Uh -uh. Oh my goodness. But I'm smelling something else in it too. It has caramel in it, but yeah. I think it. I sprayed these like an hour ago. I do smell yes. musk in it too. It has musk and the dry down that really comes out. But it has guyac wood. Uh, cashmere wood, cypriol oil, which I wouldn't be able to tell you what that smells like, but I do know that I have a lot of favorites that have that in it. Ooh, see, but that's kind of cool to know that. Yeah, that a lot of times when I'm like, oh my goodness, I really like this, I look it up and it has that cypriol oil in it. The rose mm -hmm. is on the top and I feel like it does kind of linger throughout the whole thing, but again, it's not dominant. I can tell it's there, but it's but not, I don't know that any of these are dominant. I can't smell the caramel, can you? I could smell it a little bit. Like when you said Christmas, I think they nailed it with New York. Like to me, it was just like nailed it. Like it smells like the opening of the doors from the fancy shopping. It does. Old. Like it, I just think they did. I, like literally I was like, whoa. But not, but not in, in a like air freshener type way. Or no, 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 yeah. no. It's I just meant, that. Like, outside and somebody roasting nuts like a vendor, you know, like, like all of the smells. All of it. But it also, <laughs> even though it reminds me of Christmas, it's basically a three out of four season for me. Yeah. Wear for me. Like the only time I probably wouldn't wear it. Well, I say that I wore one of these that I thought to myself, I'd never wear in the heat of summer. I wore it last week <laughs> and I loved it. So I would wear this all year. I would wear any of these all year, but I feel like it does shine in the like non-hot months. I feel like it. Yeah. I feel like it really, like, you're going to be like, this is this comfort. It um, is. It's comforting, but it's also like, I feel like sophisticated when yeah, I wear this. I feel like out of all the ones I'm going to talk about, this is the most sophisticated one. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I, I love, love Cavort, Stephanie. That is my next um, full bottle from at Fragrance du Bois. I love that one. Have you smelled yeah. that one? Yes, I have it. And yeah. Okay. I, I love, love it. I have lovers. So okay. I didn't get, I didn't love lovers because that's like really got, dominant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get this, get it, a sample of this one. It smells so, so, so good. It is, yeah, so is on my wish list for sure. I, I love it. Oh, that gives me, I'll, I'll send you a big, I have cavort, so I'll send okay. you. Okay, a big decant. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to, <Yeah>. thanks. <laughs> but today she was like, I said, should I blind buy something? She's like, yes, and I would like it to yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thank you for making my decision. And she said, okay, add to cart, bought. She texted me like five minutes later, I just bought it. <laughs> if anybody tells me to do it, I do it. <laughs> That's what we love about you. Um, okay, so this one, I'm going to start with like my newest thing that I initially hated. I don't know if hate, I'm not a hater, so I shouldn't say that. But let's just say it was not for me. And now I cannot get enough of it. And I do think that. When I was going back and forth with Mandy today, I'm really into like more summery fragrances and like feminine. And so I was sort of having a hard time, you know, because I like a lot of different things. But um, right now I've just been having a Creed moment. Um, and oh, yes. so I have to say, so the, uh, oh, this, my husband has been wearing the goat. This is Aventus. <laughs> Yeah. The greatest of all time. And I literally like love this on myself. So I was going back and forth. Um, number one, my husband was buying, not me. So I was like, ooh. Uh, <laughs> sure, so, I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I was like, I don't think he knows what he's getting into, but he's like, oh my God, I just love this. I love it. And so I love this on myself as well. But then I was like, okay. I'm going to get this little Aventus for her. And you actually already love this one. But for me, when I first smelled this and it was launched, I was like, it's a little too masculine. And again, I tend to be a little bit more like I want girly, girly. Um, and it felt a little bit like sharp. And then the dry down of this has this very peach, lovely, like I think the dry down in here, just like I was like, 
okay, I'm sold and I'm sold. Um, and then I I literally was like, I would wear this. Like every time I smell this on him, I'm like, oh, I like it a little bit. Um, you know, at first yeah. I thought this a little bit better, but then the dry down is just a little bit more feminine, a little bit more me, and I cannot get enough of it. But it's been really hot here. So this is one of the it shines in the heat. It's going to, yeah. And I tend to lean on the creeds when it's the summer and then they kind of sit a little bit in the way, like the, the ones that I have, Yeah, so, you know, so that was one, but I really would say, yep, I'm going to, I'm going to be a lifer. Well, um, I remember I dragged Chad to the creed counter one time and sprayed every single like feminine perfume they had. And yeah. that was by far his favorite. He kept going back to that. And then I dragged him to another counter. And I don't know how many we smelled that day. And his favorite out of all of them was Aventus for her. Yes, when you were saying, I was like, and I thought, well, and of course I was going to hop on when somebody was offering. I was like, why, yes. Right. Was, yeah. Who's going to say no? Right. It was actually sort of even like a cute little um, the lady liked us so much. She came behind and gave us each hugs. Oh, I've never been hugged before. <laughs> <laughs> Purchasing something. But anyway, so that has been like my current obsession. And I just can't get over it because I initially was like, mm -mm. I always love this for men. Like, I always love that. You but. think you initially were like, because mm -mm, at that time, probably it was like the one that everybody was talking about. It could have been, and I was like, "Ooh, you know, you get all hyped up," mm -hmm. and, then like, and then I was like, eh, "No," and especially because the price is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I have to love, like, right. I love, I love the DNA of Creed. Um, do I think that it's ridiculously expensive? Yes. Do I still buy some? Yes, because I like it. But, um, you know, on sale, right? <laughs> when I can right. you can find a vintage for her, like. Yeah, you can find that on a lot of the the like gray market sites and stuff are way cheaper. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying is so, yeah. so I think I probably was like nope, too masculine for me, yeah. a little too sharp and I was like uh-uh. Um and then but I probably also didn't give it a chance to like fully develop Evolve and dry down and probably like mm -hmm. like maybe like good, I don't like it. I don't have to know. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I do like that one. It's good. I like that. Um, the princess one is my favorite creed. I do like that one. Too, what, right? What's the full name? Princess Food. A royal. Princess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Princess. Yeah, that was my favorite. That's my favorite. Um, tell Chad I'm a little Aventus B now. Oh, he will. <laughs> he will be very. He will. He will approve for sure because he really he couldn't stop talking about that one for a few days. Okay. All right. So I have. Two, yeah, that have are like more cardamom dominant, and that is definitely Ooh. one of my top five favorite notes. And yeah. this one I have talked about before. I think it was in our cardamom live. Yep. And this one I feel like is one that's a little more polarizing because it's the X straight version, and it's the Gris Charnel X straight oh. from BDK. I was like, yes. Where did I have mine? Okay. You put your regular. So I have. Like a decant of the uh, original. And a lot of people will say, have said they don't feel like they're that different. And then a lot of people that don't like the extra say they think it's too masculine. But here's the thing. A couple of things. I can see that in the first few minutes. Okay. I'm also someone who enjoys a masculine fragrance on myself. So I may not be... <laughs> the best to say whether or not this is, but it is for the first few minutes to my nose, but then it goes away and it really is just an amped up version of the original Gris Charnel. And the dry down to my nose is even a little bit sweeter than the original. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that was the one. Oh, um, see, I find the dry down sweeter in the X-Trait, yes. Then I, I totally see that. I, I think that's because I need that one. And I remember being like, oh, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> yeah. It, it is. And it's and it is cardamom dominant, but I'm telling you, I it give me anything that is cardamom dominant and I will like it. I mean, yeah. I am obsessed with cardamom. This also has black tea in it, which those are kind of the dominant notes to me. 
It, it really is so good. But the extra, again, it's just a little bit stronger. It lasts way longer on me than, okay. the, than the original. Like I get probably three to maybe even four more hours on my skin oh my you know, for all day long. It's and definitely stronger. And like I said, a little bit like heavier and sweeter on the dry down. But man, oh man, I, when I wear this, I'm like, why have I not worn this? in however long it's been. I just yeah. want, again, all these, I just want to keep wearing them yeah. when I wear them. That's another it's, reason why I know that I like them so much. And this is a year rounder for me. It would probably shine more in like the colder months, but I don't care. Actually, this was funny because my son, we went to Z yep. Perfumery and in San Francisco and like he picked this and I always thought of it as this kind of warm, the cardamom, this and that. Mm -hmm. and it, Felt so fresh on mm -hmm. him, and it was so crazy how different chemistry. Chemistry how it, will pull it off, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" And then it made me love it even more. And then yeah. I'm going to smell that kind of freshness. Whereas when I first got this, I was like, "Cardamom, warm tea," and yeah. you know. And I bought it in the winter too, and we well, bought and it in the summer. I think that I think that I don't know. I it kind of. It should not annoy me anyone's opinion on a perfume <laughs> because <laughs> it's the most subjective thing I feel like in the beauty industry. But sometimes it annoys me that all the, I don't feel like it gets a lot of love. Like for the most, the majority of what the extra version, the majority okay. of what I hear, it's like, no, it's too masculine. The, the, you know, the original is better and that's fine. We, the original is great. I'm not taking away from that, but I think that people just need to get through that like first few minutes let it dry down and it's, oh, it's, it's just so good. Okay. Now so like, good. and has anybody, I was asking Mandy, I was like, what about the passes? Yes. Has anybody smelled the passes for extra yet? I'm I trying to be really good about no blind buying. I'm not blind buying it. I need to sample it first, but I did today. Cause you told me, no, <laughs> I said, I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh, okay. Yes. She's pretty sure. Oh, okay. See, I love, Okay, I love the love it's getting here. <laughs> and then also I love yeah, it. Okay. When Mandy and I were talking before, and she's probably said it, but she's like, I either like to smell like a man cake or what was the other? I want to say sex, but I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, those three work. Yeah. No, no, no. What was it? You said I like to smell. Usually it's just a man or a cake, but when you combine them, you know. <laughs> But I love that. Like I was like, she either goes like, I I mean, that's what I love. And there's certain perfumes I was saying I can smell one of that. Okay, Mandy's gonna love that. Yeah. You know, like, um, hi. This is so fun. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna do a cardamom one too. Speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. Of I know this one we both this is a duel that we both oh have. yes. Okay. This is Ormond Jane. This is Ormond Jane woman. Yeah. Um, Ugh, I wore this, this yesterday. One, this one is so interesting, though, because when you're trying to explain, like, this one has cardamom in here. It has hemlock. What um, does hemlock smell like? I mean, well, that's what it's I'm saying. But I feel, it, isn't it? I feel like it's the special note. It has coriander, grass oil, black hemlock, violet, cedar, amber, jasmine, vitamin, Better. sandalwood. And this yeah. one is a little mysterious confidence booster. I don't yeah. know. I love it. Like this one, um, I was like, got to go to, she came to Portland and I got a code to an event where she was so speaking. Cool. About. And like this one was just like the way she even described it was like, this is a woman who's comfortable in her own skin. Yeah. This is a woman who is um, like powerful. Like she was talking about herself you know, getting into the business and yeah. doing stuff. And I, I don't know. I just love this one so much. I feel like it is empowering when you wear yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I can totally see that. But I also feel like this is mm. grounding to me because yeah. of how green it is. It's and I green. am typically not a green lover, but I think there's something I think there's something in this. The reason it's grounding to me is because Chad is an outdoorsman and he would live in the woods if 
he was allowed to like <laughs> he would <laughs> be there every single day 300 and there's something about it that brings me to him and that in this perfume and, and I, I love think that's why it's so grounding to me and I think like well you know when you've been outside or your husband mm -hmm. comes or your and it smells like I love that smell of you know like you said, kind of whatever yeah. I mean I live in the Pacific Northwest so right. it is a little foresty yeah. but it has that sort of like earthy but not like dirt or no it's not it's just oh it's just it's really it's, beautiful but is one of the hardest ones to describe that yeah. I've ever talked about You're, I, you have to get your nose on it and just see what it smells like to you <laughs> because. Yeah. It's it really was, hard to describe. It's so good. I mean, I, anyways, we both were, I was like, oh, and this one is one that I would not, like, mm -hmm. I would definitely, mm -hmm. like, it's a keeper forever. <laughs> I will like it forever too. No matter how my taste change, I have no doubt that I will like that one forever. That's, that was another thing. I was like, does any of these make me sick or do they? Mm -hmm. even I was like, no. Okay. So your turn now. <laughs> Let's go into another one of my top five notes. And it is my favorite fruit note of all time. And it's peach. Yes. Oh, me a peach note. And I also feel like that's another like you either love it or you hate it type of note. I, I am not someone who really gravitates towards super fruity perfumes. Like mm -hmm. I have a lot of perfumes that have fruit notes in them. But I'm not like, ooh, Fruity Floral is my favorite. Or, you know what I mean? It's not, that's not it. But this one, to me, and I think, I think I talked about this one in our Fruity perfume. So it hasn't been long. But it, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better as it sits. It's Dialogue of Venus from yeah. Pierre Guillaume. Yeah. And this is peaches and cream. I mean, it's like a fresh, ripe peach with sweet cream poured all over it and it just sits and macerates and smells like this. Oh, y'all, this smells so good. This and is like the, the probably, yeah, this is the sweetest one that I have to talk about, but it's, Chad really likes this one too. It's like one that gets you compliments and you're like, what are you wearing? Wow, that smells good. What are you wearing? It's vanilla, ylang, y'all, this smells so good. Ylang ylang, musk, peach, seawater, and sandalwood. I mean, it's peaches and cream. Okay, because that's the one you keep on telling me to get, and I forget to. We have get you ever, have you not, you haven't smelled it either, have you? No, I think that I I have the sample. Like I have it, and I you know. And, and you haven't used it. That's what I'm saying. I'm you gonna have that sample. Has anybody that's, that's watching? Has anybody smelled this? Yeah, and y'all yeah. smell something different. This gets better as it sits. And it's and pretty long lasting on me. It's not the longest out of all these. The one I'm wearing today is the longest. I mean, I think that would last 48 hours if I didn't um, shower. Oh my goodness. Bye, Brenda. Um, Don't worry, yeah. you'll catch up on the, okay, but that one, I'm really into peaches right now. And like, I love like the bottle. You would love this one. I it's, it's, it's sweet, but it's not sickly sweet. No. But if you're into peaches, this is one you need to try out. And I, again, I love the bottle. I can't remember what collection this is a part of. It, the Blanc collection, I think. I think um, so. all the white bottles. But oh, mm. the, um, what is the intim intime? Yeah, intime extreme. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because yeah. that's one thing. I have so many, and I was like, ooh. Um, I but, have a two can of that one somewhere. I have so many of him that I want. The Un, um, Un Crime Exot Exotique. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like gingerbread. <laughs> that's so the one I was saying that we should have the excuse to just do a full live of that brand because there's so I, many. There's so many brands that I want to do a full live of. And that's oh. definitely one of them because I, you can go on, so you can go on the actual website. I can't. Are they Greek? Are they Greek? I think I think so. they're Greek. I can't remember, but it's overseas if you're in the States. You can go on that website and you can form your own sample box for very, very, very affordable prices. You could pick your own. Oh. I'm talking like 16 to 24 samples 
for, and it takes, you know, a little bit to get here because it's coming from overseas, but it's not, in, it's not expensive and it's a great way to try out the brand. So just a little tip. I, I was like, Ooh, no. yeah. <laughs> she, she was like, I was telling Mandy earlier, I was like, well, I'm really into this right now, but I don't know if it's a lifer yet. So I'm so glad that you like it. I haven't um, seen that one yet. Oh, okay. This, every time we do this, we have to like make a list afterwards, but that's so good. Uh, okay. So now you are going to Fruity Floral. So I am going to, hi, Justina. I'm going to go to a classic, but it is one that I cannot give up. Um, this is Delina, and I personally like the exclusive. So the mm -hmm. original I have, but it's a little too, um, again, screechy, a little sharp with the root. Sharp. Yeah. This one, I always think of this as like the oldest sister, and then Delina, and then the Rosé one is like yeah. the younger sister. And so this one, I completely fell in love with. Um, again, you guys, I'm a pink girl. <laughs> and Anytime I do have to admit, like so many people wear this now, but I still just like when I'm in the mood for this, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that I'm going to want to wear every single day. Um, if I am like, I guess I need to garner some feeling low and I need compliment, <laughs> not low, but you know, if I want. <laughs> Oh, I totally understand. Or, or if I'm strutting with barbecue that day and I just am like, there's certain outfits that I feel like this just goes with. Mm -hmm. um, but this one will, I'm not kidding. Every single time I wear this, this is like complimenter, like getter. Like it's just so good. And my daughter um, loves this as well. And she still, she left this because she just went back to college, but she oh. went back to me. So anyways, we, we fight over this one. So it can go from younger up to yeah. more mature. But I just think it's like, if you are want to feel beautiful, like this one does this for me and it's going to be, Pear and lychee, um, Turkish rose, this exclusive one. The reason I like it, it's just not quite, um, it's got a little bit, it's got some incense in here, some vanilla and some musk and some amber. Like it's a little bit more weighted down than like the original, I would say. Because that original one kind of can get to me like where I'm like, mm, I'm feeling. Because this ex exclusive, it doesn't have rhubarb, does it? No, no rhubarb, and it has a dose of vanilla in here. It's just got a little bit more, I think, elevated to myself. That yeah. I just a little will do you. Um, it's you know, that's not one that I have to like. <laughs> I do that anyways. I asked Abby today. I said, "How many? So how many sprays do you do you spray when you put on perfume?" And she told me, and I'm like, "Oh, oh, so I do like more than double that." <laughs> like I'm like. I was laughing because I was thinking it goes one, two, three, four, and then I do one, two, three, and I walk through it. I'm like one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I'm wearing shorts, twelve, thirteen. Like, <laughs> oh, but that's why I love you. I was like, go, girl. <laughs> Now there are some that like one in particular I'm gonna talk about is two sprays and that's it. I would choke someone out yes. if I did more than that. So that doesn't go for every single one of them, but a lot of them I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. I paid a lot of money for these suckers. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my worth. <laughs> I, mean, I also like you know how I, about longevity. I know like there's certain perfumes that I don't want longevity. Right. I don't mind topping it off because I like the opening so much right. that I don't mind spraying it on as long as it's not like, uh, you know, um, outrageously. <laughs> right. um, yes, it does have a little powdery touch in here. Um, so that's another one. But yes, if you, I, this would be one that I'm always going to love like that that was one where he's like if when i finish this and i have a lot of perfume i would repurchase, repurchase it. it um but i go through phases again just like you know being ah oh, obsessed but i still will do this oh oh my gosh i love it amwash guidance is definitely not one i do 13 sprays <laughs> <laughs> i love it but i could not do that because again i would choke somebody out okay okay 
I know. Right, let's talk about one that I had a decant of and that I texted Abby one day and I'm like, it's on sale at Twisted Lily. We got to get it. And we were going oh, yeah. back and forth yeah. and we got it. And then it has it. become my favorite tuberose scent. And tuberose is my favorite floral scent. Again, one that you either like like it or you don't like it. I tend to pick the ones that are a little polarizing. But this is definitely my favorite tuberose scent now. And it's from Mattier Premier French Flower. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Um, This was so cute because, I mean, I knew this is just gorgeous. This was almost like I was like, I knew you were picking it. So like you, you didn't. Had you ever smelled it before I told you to buy it? It was a blind buy, wasn't it? It was, I, I had smelled it at a counter, but I didn't have a sample. Like, okay. you know what I mean? And I, at the time I was going for whatever was the most yeah. popular at the moment. But I was like, yeah, you need to get it. it oh. yeah. This to me, now, Abby, I would like to see if you agree with me. This is a little bit of a more intense, touch less sweeter version of Love to Rose. <laughs> In the sense that it is a very, it is not a screechy tuberose. No. It's not indolic. It is very creamy to me. Yeah. Do you get it that? Like a super smooth tuberose. It's not as sweet as love tuberose. No. But it's not, again, it's not like it's not sweet at all. Oh and my goodness. I love this so much. This one, when you said, I think of this as a true smooth operator because I, back in the day, loved tuberose, but remember, I'm older, 80s, like, it, and now, like, some, they were so big. Yeah. Like, then it was, like, so carnal flowers, like, you know. Yeah, and fraca, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of that. And so this, to me, is, like, grown up, smooth, and it just- is. And and it's just like I literally was like, oh my gosh, you knew it. Like, it you is know so, that. so, so pretty. And it's one of my favorite layering perfumes for yeah. floral. And I've said, and I'll say it to the cows come home, but these two together, oh, uh, y'all. <laughs> yes, like, you have to get the I texture every time I wear it. And it's a lot. And I'm like, have you gotten it yet? The Delicia D Marshmallow from Keith. Mm layered with French flower um, makes it a more potent love to bros. It's like love to bros on steroids. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. And that well, because the marshmallow is the yes. best marshmallow. Like, like, and like you said, that just improves if you're in that mode for that. It yes. Just, all your perfumes smell amazing. Yes. <laughs> it is. Yes, yeah, Stephanie. Look, I think Stephanie and I might be a little bit of um, some scent sisters because <laughs> everything that I've said I love, she says she loves too. And I, you have got to smell this because if you love tube rose, you are going to want a full bottle of this, like hands down. And Mate Premier, they use their own, they grow their own tube rose. Yeah. Um, they grow their own everything from what I understand. And so these are small batch, like they, they use the ones that they grew and they may go out of stock and then wait until they grow the next, like they harvest the next batch. But mm. so, I'm wearing this tomorrow. You know how we, we always get off. And I think like, I'll just take a shower tonight and put it on tonight. I'm like, yeah, I know. I, we always get off and we're like, oh, I can't wait to wear these. I know because you get it. Yeah, you re-inspire the yeah. events. But this one was so good. And then she, you had sent me the little. The sample marshmallow. of the marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. I've been like, oh. <laughs> She's like, um, but this one, isn't it a pretty one too? Like it is. And I love my favorite bottle is a square or cube bottle. So I love the simplicity of this. I love the shape of it. I love that brand a lot. The next one I'm getting is where is it? Um, Parisian Musk. Oh, Ooh, you smell yeah. that one? Yeah, yes. That one is like that will be my next full bottle of Mathieu Premier. Okay, what you got, Abby? Okay, so now that we're talking about tuberos, you you know which one's coming up now. Um, okay, this has been a long time love, and like I'm literally almost like gone. Like this is um not much left in here, which is huge because I've got a lot of perfume, <laughs> and so this means it's a true okay. love. 
This is Armani uh, Rouge Malachite. And oh, this was like love at first sniff. Like I just remember when I was there and smelling it. And it was like, I had to have it that day. Like did not really have the money to buy it, but I was like, I'm getting it. So, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm like, I so like great. that much. So if we're going to say this one is your smooth operator, mm -hmm. this is tuberose guys. This is a tuberose, but I think it's the six sex sniff. Yeah sexier yep like isn't it a little bit yeah. sexier slightly gourmand yes. um version like they these are totally different i would say as far as but they're two burrows dominant and yeah this is just a i don't know i, I see know. like i know i always put outfits with perfumes because that's where my head yeah. is, but i um, see like a black pencil skirt with red bottom heels and like you know like a real crisp white shirt and like it's so pretty y'all it is this so pretty. one is like a little bit more dense and rich and but it's also not like too heavy that you can't wear this all day but you would like you know tuberose this is leaning into the 80s a little bit yeah but like, it's not it's not that screechy harsh like no no, no. like and, and i think I, even if you're someone who doesn't love tuberose because all you remember is the two yeah. of the eighties, you might like that one. Like this one you have to definitely like, uh, there's so many people that love this. And I just, I, I don't know. I was immediate like love at first sniff and I could not be with, like, this is something that I would repurchase. Yeah. Sorry, my dog's trying to get in. I don't know. <laughs> You're doing something without me. I have FOMO. Well, I was like, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, <laughs> also this one, um, there was something in here I wanted to point out. It has that benzoin and cashmere and like, so it, there's something to weigh it down. Do you know what I mean? Like if somebody, if you're afraid of tuberose, but it's got some, some heft to it, that's going to kind of ground it a little bit. My uh, computer's not charging. Keep talking. Hold on. Okay. Anyway, so who has this? Does anybody love it as much as I do? Um, I've been decluttering and it's been really good because it puts it into perspective like things you cannot live without. So I love that one. And Tati is asking what else she can layer French flower with. Honestly, you can layer it with anything, but I really gravitate towards a sweeter scent to layer with that one. I think if you yeah. do anything else floral, it might be a little too much. That's yeah. going to be like the, the dominant. So even if it's something like vanilla, um, I think it would like, I, I was going to say, really pretty layered with something like this Jimmy Choo vanilla love, like something like that. A rich, um, kind of heavier vanilla would be really pretty with it. I might actually do that tomorrow, but I just don't think it needs to be anything floral. Did you bring someone in? The bring him in to help, but I think he can be good. He just doesn't like to be out. By uh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> if he's with me, I think we're good. Um. Okay. Okay. I am going to stick on the Armani Privé train because oh. I have one from the Armani Privé line, and this one. So I just decanted all of these and sent them to my best friend. And I was like, you need to try them. See if you can figure out which one is my favorite. And then let me know what you think. And this is the first one she tried. And she she was like, ooh, la, la. She texted me. She's like, ooh, la, la. <laughs> and it is blue turquoise. And I know I talked about this, I think, in the summer since yep. video. This is, I can't yeah. not get enough of this scent. I There's something in it that triggers the happy part of my brain. Oh. And this is basically a salty vanilla to yeah. my mind. Um, it has, it's like a, and my favorite, like if anybody asked me, well, if anybody asked me my favorite dessert, it's banana pudding. But if anybody asked me other than that, I'm all, I always like, like sweet and salty things. If yeah. I can mix the two, that is like my taste bud. And that is what this is to me. It is a sweet and salty, beautiful, fragrant confection. It is beautiful. It's, I mean, it's so good. And it really gets compliments. 
when I wear this, like people will be like, what? because it doesn't smell like anything else that I've smelled. Well, oh. I take that back. You know what it smells like. I sent you this decant too. Warm sands, uh, oh. blue ocean. So that was the one that I, I that, that was, was a, yeah. I, she sent me this goodie basket of goodies and that was my, remember, was it yeah. the one I kept on you, That was the first one he texted me about. So 4160 Tuesdays. Um, love it. Do what? I said, we love that. Oh, How I thought that? you were saying something about your precious little doggy. If no. you have smelled this, it is similar. It is not the same, but it is in the no. same vein. But these two are the only ones that I have smelled along those lines. It's really unique to me, and at least to what I've smelled. And it's just, it's beautiful. And definitely shines in the summer. It really does. But I'm going to try to get this to shine in every, I just bought this in April, but I'm going to try to get this to shine in every other season because I love it that much. The only thing I don't like is that I can't tell how much is left. That's Well, that's what I was going to say. I and just, I'm always, I'm so scared that I'm going to get to a point where I'm, where it's like gone. And I'm also scared that I'm not going to be able to get it again. You can weigh it. Yeah, but I don't know how much it weighed to begin with. I, I like, should have done that when I got it. Especially when you're like. I know. And I do with this one. This is the one that doesn't get too much. So I'm just like. And then I, after I do it, I'm like, oh, man, I need to, I need to make this last. Because, I mean, it's Armani Freebay. It's not cheap. Yeah. Um, but it is one that 1,000% 1, whenever I do run out, it will be purchased right away. Right away. Like, it's this is my favorite, probably my favorite purchase this year of perfume. Yeah, you have been hyped on that for I, like. I cannot, I cannot yeah. stop with how much I love it. I love that. It's such, it's so fun when you find a fragrance. Oh my goodness. I also bought it in Scotland, so it takes me back there too. I, I was gonna say, but it still is. Mm. So it's so good, and I'm so glad other people love it too because I just don't hear it talked about a lot. It's one of those beauties. Okay. How many do we have left? I have three left. I'm trying to decide which one to do next. Um, okay. Because we've been kind of playing off yes. our notes and stuff. Okay. So I'm going to go with like sort of signature scent worthy one. I call this joy in a bottle for me. Um, this is the one that when my daughter smells me, she's like, that just smells like you. Like it's a very happy beautiful fragrance and i have two versions of it and i actually love both of them but it's roja 51 um and i don't know it just makes me smile it makes me I do beautiful. like that one and it just smells beautiful and it's got roja's got like a ton i can read off the notes too but <laughs> they put a lot of notes in their <laughs> stuff a lot <laughs> Again, the thing about Roja is I would, we were talking about smooth operators. That's the one thing I would say is there's a lot going on in there, but um, it's smooth and yay. Um, it's just smooth and just vanilla. There's some, uh, I guess there's raspberry in here, but it's got like uh, Ylang Ylang, Gardenia, Orange Blossom, Tuberose, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, May Rose. But then in the bottom, we've got some Oris, which is a little bit mm -hmm. more buttery. Like, you know, we've got that. We've got Violet Cinnamon, Anise, um, Clove Patchouli. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to get to that. <laughs> This is like basically like I think of this as signature scent worthy. This is one where whenever I don't know what I want to wear, I will reach for 51. I never get sick of it when I travel and I feel like I just need something that's going to feel like me. I don't want to, you know, there's just the fragrances that you want mm -hmm. to, to just, you know, be yourself. Um, this and I like both versions, actually. So the 51 is the perfume version, and it's a bit creamier and butterier. Um, the Essence one is going to be brighter. It's great for summer because it's got a little bit more of a bright opening, um, more bergamot. And I just, I really, I don't know. I love these. And so. I do have um, a sample of the, not the Essence, but the um, perfume. And I do like it a lot. Okay, good. I was like, oh, oh, she's not like my <laughs> no i do the only one that i haven't liked is is the, and you know that i just for some reason my skin hates the delinas 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know that. That's what I laugh. I was like, and I do like that rose. Like I like that. Yeah. I, oh yeah. I, I have to be in the mood though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like no, I like really like fifty one, and I think it's one of those ones that you smell it and you're you don't. I can't pick out any of those notes. I no. just think it smells really good. That's you know? that's that's what I loved is like my daughter hugged me and then she was like, oh, that's just like, it's one of those like, okay, it meshes with you and it yeah. just it smells like you. And I thought that was like, okay, good. I'm going to. Well, that always it. makes you feel good. I've always thought to myself, should I have a signature scent so my kids? And I'm like, no, my kids are just going to grow up and they'll just know <laughs> mom always smell good. <laughs> that's, just always smell good. <laughs> I love, that's the best compliment. That's right. Okay. Well, patchouli. We yeah. cannot have a top for life without a patchouli because out of all of my five notes, favorite <laughs> notes, that is by far my favorite. And again, one of those ones is like you love it or you hate it. And there's a lot of people that hate it, but I love it in its rawest form, in its dirtiest form. I love it in its sweetest form. I don't care what form the patchouli is in. I love it. And this is, this is one that I told um, Abby, I was, oh my goodness. I told Abby, I was like, well, I think this is more like fall, winter, but the heat index was 105 yesterday and I wore it No, it's two days ago and I wore it two days ago. Um, um, and I just don't even care. This is one of those yeah. ones I do not care. And it's Dinkanto from oh, Purple I was, I was waiting for the different one. Okay. Well, patchouli yeah. is also, I couldn't decide between the two. The patchouli okay. from Perfume and Roma is... Also, one of my absolute favorites, and that is just straight patchouli. That, that is, like, yeah. there is yeah. nothing else in that. This one is very hard for me to describe. I very much get the patchouli in it. It also has vanilla, guyac wood, tonka bean, myrrh, that. orange, gardenia, cedar, and jasmine. I don't smell I any don't of know. those. I mean, maybe I smell patchouli. I and then all the rest of them just make it smell even good. Yeah. Well, KG, we are not there yet. Okay. Yeah, KG, I was laughing because that was my, well, I even know what she has over there, but I was like, I thought that was the lead up to that. Um, so we are not there yet. But then, Kanto, this one smells like, like I feel like I'm just ready to go and, take over the world when I wear this. There's something about, this is the this is the one where I feel like if you were to go in and smell it, this would be Mandy in a bottle. That's There's what something I'm about this that is like, yep, that's it. This is just it for me. And, and it's two sprays. That's why it doesn't look like there's much. Most perfume and ramas are two sprays. They're very high concentration of oils. You do not need much of it at all. Two sprays and I'm done. And I can smell it all day. And it just, it just feels like me. There's just something about it that, so it's comforting because it feels like me. And do you feel like there's a little um, foresty note to it? it? It probably another reason that it feels like like the grounding and yeah, I think the guyac would probably because when Mandy was like. I mean, when she is crazy about something, I run out if I can. And I go, I was like, I got to run out and go. <laughs> okay, because All I, of these, whenever I first got them, I would not shut up about them, Tabby. I would check her constantly. I so. ran and I was smelling it. And I got the little travel one. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm I'm rocking Mandy today. Like, <laughs> like, like, I, I love it, but it's not like me per right. se. I really was just like, oh my gosh, this is so Mandy. Like, I feel I, so... Like I'm just comfortable wearing this. And yeah. sometimes I feel depending on the day, even if it's something I love, I'm like, mm, I'm maybe this is not really me right now. Like maybe I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Did I spray too much? I don't want to walk around and somebody say, and you know, sometimes never have I felt this way. I just feel comfortable in this. This is yeah. just me and a bottle out of all the ones I've talked about. This is the most me. That is Mandy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so good. Okay, you did the segue to um, Tonka because oh, that is yes, oh yes, favorite note ever, and I just find it adds like rich resonous. Mm -hmm. like, what do you say? like there's just something like most of the perfumes that I absolutely love have Tonka in it. 
Um, and so this is a classic, and this is what I feel like makes me feel sort of Parisian chic when I wear it, and I just love it. And it is from Guerlain, and it is Tonka Imperial. And so I particularly love this in the fall. Uh -huh. I mean, you can wear this whenever you want. I don't know why I keep on just going like this when I sprayed them out on little. Oh. <laughs> Well, you can get the, the initial when you smell it from the bottle and then the dry down when you smell it. Um, and to me, this is another one that's warm and smooth and chic. And I feel like with the Guerlain, they always have like that. There's that DNA. There's that vanilla DNA in all the Guerlains. Yes. And if you like the vanilla DNA and you like Tonka. I mean, I feel like if you like the vanilla DNA in Guerlain, you're really going to like almost all of them. Like, um, did you see you guys? They're coming out with these x rays. I've already reserved a decant oh. of the tobacco honey. Oh, my gosh. OK, and then was it was there one? Isn't it Tonka vanilla, too? Yes. And I haven't gotten I haven't figured out how to get a decant of that yet. But the tobacco honey, I'm hoping to have it in the next week. Okay, because um, I was like a little bit. Do you know how much they are? Yeah, I don't want to know. Is it too crazy? Do you not? $600. No, oh. <laughs> He's like, I was like, no, don't, don't rain on my parade. Yeah. I was like super excited about now, that. I think that's the 200 mil, but I don't know if they're coming out with various sizes. All I know is that I saw $600 and I'm like, <laughs> I'll be getting a decant. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, unless it like blows all the ones that I'm talking about now out of the water, I just cannot see myself spending that much on perfume. Um, and then I'm going to be sharing one. And <laughs> if you want to blind buy it, I'll buy a decant. Off. <laughs> That's what she does to me. She's like, I'll be get it. And then I'm going to, I'm like, don't, I'm easily influenced. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. Anyways. Oh, there's an almond note in here. There is. Yes. It's a little bit bitter almond, so I need to mention But that. it gives a little bit of powderiness to it, too. Not yeah. baby powderiness, but like. And it, would you say, just like with any almond, it gives slight cherry, like you don't yep. have almond and have. 100%. And it's not, not going to be like a lot of people, cherry polarizes them. Um, and so this is just one that I don't know. I just always feel kind of like, I feel like white button down. I feel a little bit like I'm someplace, you, you know, in Europe and I feel a little chic. But it's also like cozy up by the fire with yeah. like a latte and a book, like, yes, kind yes. Of like just comforting, really thick. Just, I, I just, I love the Guerlain DNA. Yeah, me too. And I think that's it. If you love Guerlain, um, I think you're going to. And mm -hmm. it's, that one's a standout and it's been a long time fave. So. Well, okay. we're piggybacking off of each other. I know. So I, I've got two left. I will talk about my Guerlain now. Yay! This is only a decant. And this is because I have specifically reserved. And what does this say about my life? I have specifically reserved this for my next celebratory perfume. So when something big happens in my life, this is the perfume that I'm going to get to celebrate that. Ooh, I that's why right now I only have a decant, but it is my favorite Guerlain perfume of all of the Guerlain. And I have smelled a lot of them and I have yeah. of a lot of them and it is Queer Beluga. Oh, there, I was like, yes. <clears throat> Queer Beluga okay. is just the most beautiful Guerlain vanilla DNA suede. Yeah. But it is. It's not leathery to me. It is suede. It has the texture of suede. It has the softness of suede. It has the creaminess of suede yeah. with that vanilla in it. And I had talked about it in my last haul video how the new BDK vanilla, oh. leather, which is the next full size BDK I'm getting is the baby of this and Celine black tie. Oh, if okay. those oh. two get together and had a baby, you would get Vinny leather. From okay. And I'm going to love it. 
but there's still something about queer beluga that it just, I've gone through, this is probably my fourth decant. So that's what I do. I just keep buying decants and then, yeah. you know, I'm waiting for that celebratory. Like I've been waiting for a while. I'm kind of needing something to celebrate here. <laughs> so. Cause I thought you bought it. I thought no. you did it. No, but I, it's on my list and I just keep getting decants cause I keep running through them because I love them so much. And Definitely more of like a, a cold weather scent because it is a little heavier um, with that suede, but mm, it's hands down my favorite. And I love a lot of the Guerlain's, but hands down my favorite. And I think I was going between this one and that one. And I kept on like, oh, you know, have, like I was kind of like. Yeah. And I also I, love the Spirit Shoes. Do yeah. like me. I love that one. Like there's, they've got so many good ones. Even the, I can't pronounce this one. Oulet Pupre. Oh yeah. That's a good one. It's a really good one. And no one ever talks about it. No. Ever. But it's really good. I, and I probably just butchered the name. But I have a lot of her lines that I love, but Queer Beluga is my top. I love it. Okay. Um, What's okay. your name? We're going to move on. I had to do a classic from another house that I love. And this is Chanel. And this one is 1957. And it's from the, um, the other like exclusive line but this one to me is like my no-brainer it is a fresh like a little bit invigorating very classy very chanel dna mm -hmm. scent. um my mom really liked like aldehydes she was like you know uh, not a chanel number five girl she was more of a crystal kind mm -hmm. of love those aldehyde um Clinique aromatic thing. So this yeah. has a little bit of an ode to her. It's got a little champagne touch that's just a little bit sweeter, um, you know, for myself. Mm -hmm. And I always just feel so put together. Like I would put on a white button down, mm -hmm. but it's also t-shirt ready. You know what I mean? Like you, you can dress it up or down. Dress it down. Um, and I just... I cannot, like, this is like a go-to. So this was one that if I was going to pick any of them, um, I just, I always feel like a class act. Um, say maybe I'm like a little going to go somewhere and I don't want to overpower. Right. <laughs> you know, I don't want the perfume to wear me, but I want to feel confident and um, that I'm going to go for this. And I just, I, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> I've had, I think I've had a sample of that, but let me ask you this. So Cortland, um, is a Chanel girl. Like I got her Chanel number five for Christmas last year and she will either use that mm -hmm. or she'll come in and steal my Cora Mandel. And like those, oh, are the, that, that's what wow. she wore to high school. Like that yeah. is, that's it. I have yeah. raised her right. Okay. <laughs> so if she likes those two, do you think she'll like 1957? Um, it's not going to be like, it's going to be a little bit more on the fresher zone. Okay. Cause I think, like Coromandel, I love mm -hmm. like, that rich, you know yep. what I mean? That's like, um, and then number five is just so classic. I think she might actually like, cause okay. I'm saying clearly like, I need to try to, cause I could, I could have sworn that I had a sample. I need to try to dig it out and see if she likes um, it. Yeah, this one, let me see. It's got some iris in here. So I kind of think you're going to okay. like it. Um, neroli, white musk. It's a little bit woody. And then it's got a little teeny hint of honey. Oh, I love Angelique. I, I, almost, I almost picked the Angelique Noir. That was like, I was like, ooh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Then um, that's what I was going to say is like that one. Those are very different. But yes, I don't. It might be a little too fresh for, for I her. I kind of feel like it's not. I, I think yeah. like, she's young. Let's like, I know she's got some of that, you know, number five, I wouldn't say is a young or either one. Yeah. Of either one of them's not, but that's what she said. She's smelling them in my uh, collection. And she's like, Oh my goodness. I love it. And I'll, she'll always get in the car in the morning. I'm like, did you go spray my core down? <laughs> like, did you go in there without me knowing? She's like, I can definitely smell it on her. Um, yeah. How many do you have left? One. one. Okay. I saved. I, I know we both left the one. <laughs> I saved the best for last. 
And this is, again, I said at the beginning, I'm a very decisive person. And if someone ever asks me, what is your favorite perfume? I don't have an issue picking my favorite. Like a lot of times when you have collections as big as we do, sometimes we're like, oh, I don't know. It depends on the time of the year. No, this has been my favorite since I purchased it, since I smelled it. And it continues to be my number one. So <laughs> who was it that said? I think it was Katie. Katie. No, she very well. <laughs> the big Katie. reveal. Her name is Kathleen. <laughs> Kathleen. Knows me very well. I hope. Oh, wait. I hope it's. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait. No. I, Maison Crivelli Patchouli Mag Magnetic or Magnetique, however you want to pronounce it. It's what I have on today. It is hands down the most polarizing scent that I had ever seen talked about. And that's just me, apparently. I <laughs> apparently, I really like polarizing things because. This one is. Luckily, everybody, and there's maybe some that, you know, have gotten it and they just didn't tell me how much they hated it. I don't know. <laughs> but luckily, I've gotten a lot of messages saying, I got a sample of it. I absolutely love it. I bought a full bottle. But this is not a normal perfume. This is not a, I want to feel pretty perfume. This is, I want to stand out. I want to, it's, it's, it's a fierce perfume in my opinion. I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's very, it is meant to the whole marketing copy behind it apparently is meant to smell like riding on a motorcycle through a field during a lightning storm, whatever that means. Yes, I have heard of Fern. Yeah. Um, I want to try some of their things because they do seasonal scents. Have you heard of them, Abby? They do. Okay. That was like, they're really intriguing. Okay. Um, this, oh my goodness. It <laughs> is peach. It is a very sharp, almost metallic, Peach. And when I say metallic, I'm not, I don't mean like bad metallic. I mean like metallic Tom yeah, Ford. That's what I was going to say, I was going to ask you. Yes. Um, yes. And I love Quentin Beach. I love. Yep. And this is nuclear. I'm talking one, <laughs> two, done. But it is also my longest lasting perfume in my collection and hands down my very most complimented perfume. Like yeah. every time I wear this and go somewhere, I will get a compliment. And if I were to really dig down on what those people like, like, and don't like, they would tell me they don't like peach and they don't like patchouli, <laughs> but they yeah. like this. And it's, it, there's something about it and it, maybe it just works. I mean, all, all perfume works yeah. differently on different skin. Maybe it just works Okay, I'm so glad you like it too. I love it when people, because I sometimes get scared. I'm like, this is not one you want to blind buy. Absolutely do not blind buy. I mean, red letters, people, don't blind buy it. Get you a sample and then tell me whether or not you like it. But it is, it's an x -ray. It will last me years. I use the snot out of this and look at it. It's like, you can't, it looks like I haven't even touched it. I love it. I can't speak highly enough about it. I can't get enough of it. I never get bored of it. It is just continually my very favorite perfume in my 100 plus bottle collection. I love this so much. See, but you got the good patchouli like. Bah, bah, bah. I'm so excited. Yay. Oh, oh I fumigate the corridors. Yes. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh, I love that. It's so good. Um, Okay, I love it. So we were also talking because she was like, I can bathe in that. Uh -huh. And then you said that I'm like, I'm gonna have to bring out this one is a special one for me, but this is like a personal, like wanna bathe in it. It was I did, you know, someone gave it gifted to it to me, my my husband. But yeah, <laughs> still it was a gift. And so it has a little bit of specialness to it. And this one is. Sublime Vanille. The bottle's so pretty. 
And um, this was just one that I fell in love with. And it's like, again, um, I wouldn't, this one is crazy, dumb, expensive. Um, and I think the thing that when you were saying I could bathe in this, this mm -hmm. is something that I just feel like is like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's a citrusy vanilla, very adult. It is not too sweet. It is not too dry. It isn't too powdery. Like to me, it is just perfection. Mm -hmm. um, I clearly like, he was like, you just need to use it, you know? <laughs> I know some of them I'm like, oh, I don't want to use it. But then I'm like, no, they're so good. I have to. I mean, I can't take it with me. Right. You yeah. Can't take this. I know. So that's when I was like, okay, then I'm just going to do the Mandy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spray it all over. But to me, it just is, again, you know how there's certain scents that you just put on and it feels like you and you just, you want to bathe in it and all of that. And it's just gorgeous. And, and, you know, it was like special. So I kind of just had to share it because if I was to like, and there's a fire and I had to run out, I'm going to be grabbing um, <laughs> like this one. And I just love it so much. So this again is something I would go smell. I think the problem is, is that, you know, it isn't a big, uh, like, you know, how yours is fierce and mm -hmm. you know, watch out the fumigate their quarters. This is being worn for me. Um, it isn't going to be like, if someone comes in for a hug, they're going to be like, you smell amazing, but they're not going to like, it's not going to have the presence. And for that, the price tag on it, I can see where people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I want something that's going to sing to the But heaven. see, a lot of people don't want a projector. Like in yeah. any of their perfumes, you know, a lot of them, they just want, they want something for them to smell and only them. I care. That's all I care about is that I, you know, I like yeah. it. I'd probably be more cognizant of the people around me, but I want to smell it for myself. But I also don't mind if it like, you know, projects. Yeah. Some people don't want that at all. So, and, and you know, I would say yes, a little bit more subtle, mm -hmm. <laughs> but to me, I love it. And like, I could totally bathe in it. And, um, you know, like I have like the, I have a room spray and a candle. Like I love oh, it like God. that. And it just is like, ah, um, fun. So fun. And I'm sitting here thinking like, it would be, look, I know this is first world problems. All of everything we talk about is first world problems. But if I were to lose my, a collection other than the ones that I like talked about tonight, I would totally be okay with that because right. I would miss these the most, like, right. and a couple of them, like, yeah, all, well, all of them, but probably three or four of them, especially like I have, I have to have it back because you grow attachments to them. Like in a sense, you know, and like the patchouli magnetic one, I've said this before, it's the only one I took to Disney world. So yeah. every time I, this was the, almost a year ago, every single time I wear it, AC is like, you smell like Disney. And yeah. that, I love that. I'm like, only fragrance can do that. Yeah. You know, and that's, I just, you, so that's another reason I have an attachment to that one because it makes me smell like Disney to my daughter, you know, so. That's how, like, when I dropped my kids off at college, when you're going to be getting there soon enough, I had to go and get a, each one. I have a different perfume that I bought will always remind me of those. I, I, you know, I will cry every time I wear that one. I well, no, no, it's it. not crying. It was more like accomplishment. Like, hey, you got, they're, they're, they're going off. and You did your job and they're yeah, functioning at all. So it's going to yeah. have a bittersweet, but it'll yeah. make you, oh, so I love the kind of memory making that perfume is. Oh, I do too. I do too. I love it so much. Oh. This is so exciting. Okay. Yes. It, well, it's, so yeah, the, and I overthought it. <laughs> I was like, we have 10 more we can get through here. But, um, but anyway. Maybe we'll do a, a, what do we do? Eight. Maybe we'll do a nine through, you know, 18. Oh, next yeah. Time. That would be good. Actually, yeah. What's our theme? I have no idea. We usually we talk about it. Hey guys, what is our theme um, for our next? We love these. Um, Mandy and I love doing this. I love doing these. Yeah, it's a highlight so, of my month. I don't know. I mean, we're going to be coming into fall. Does anybody want to see fall fragrances, or is that something that's just going to be oversaturated on YouTube, anyways? Mm. Is there any specific 
anyways, you can leave the notes down yeah. below and let us know what you guys think. Um, we will come up with some creative ideas as well. Um, but anyways, I'm excited. Every time we leave, yeah, maybe a part, part two. two. Yeah. Um, and we could even do a part two fall favorites though. Like, you know, yeah. we, could, we could do our, cause there was a few we were talking about and I was like, I'm going to want that when I'm into the. Oh um, yeah. When I'm into the colder months and, and yeah. the more like sweater weather type things power Ooh. professional mm. yeah actually we a lot of people do ask about office regs and then also like power not the bad word i won't say it but <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, regs. Movies, yeah but but i love that um yeah because and also thank you kg she was the one who um to um, told me uh, this almost came into this top 10, but I hadn't had it long enough to like really. Oh, she told you to get that one? <laughs> yeah. I said I wanted something for my 55 that's like, you know, kind of frivolous, and, but fun mm -hmm. and um, pretty. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm, I'm all into the Barbie, as you know. <laughs> pink. Pretty and pink. I love it. Um, okay. Yay. You. Oh. Uh, Okay, we love all this, but thank yes. you so much as always. We appreciate you coming. And um, I have some perfumes that I'm going to have to be smelling and I'll send you some. <laughs> yes, and I'm looking at my um, lineup for my next haul videos. <laughs> I just keep adding <laughs> to my collection. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Oh, I do love that one too. This I do like beige.